नमस्कार टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन लिपिड्स इट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू सेवरल पार्ट्स फर्स्ट पार्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन द लिपिड्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ द डाइट बिकॉज ऑफ द हाई एनर्जी वैल्यू एंड फैट सोलबल विटामिन एंड द एसेंशियल फैटी एसिड्स फाउंड इन द फैट ऑफ द फूड स्टप्स secondly in the body this fat serves as efficient source of energy which is stored in the adipose tissues in insulating material in the subcutaneous tissues and the fats combined with proteins which are also called as lipoproteins are important constituents of the cell membranes and mitochondria of the cell <laughs> lipids are generally insoluble in water and soluble in non polar solvents so now i think you must be able to define what is lipids so i will pause for a minute think on your answer on the uh, uh, question what is lipids and write it in your notebook now the definition of lipids the answer is the lipids are a heterogeneous group of compounds related to fatty acids and includes fats oils waxes and other related substances these are oily or greasy organic substances relatively insoluble in water and considerably soluble in organic solvents like ether chloroform and benzene they are thus hydrophobic in nature biological roles of lipids the fat under the skin of this elephant seal protects it from the cold the wax surfaces of leaves uh, surface of leaves uh, repels water but also reduces water loss from the plant kidneys are embedded in fatty tissues every cell membrane contains lipids like water of a duck's back fatty acids on a duck's feathers repel water classification lipids are broadly classified into uh, two classes that is non saponifiable lipids and saponifiable lipids non saponifiable lipids includes steroids prostaglandins and terpenes and saponifiable lipids includes triglyceride waxes phospholipids and spingo lipids according to chemical composition it is classified into three categories simple lipids or homolipids these are esters of fatty acids with various alcohols compound lipids or heterolipids these are esters of fatty acids with alcohol and possesses additional groups also derived lipids these are the substances derived from simple and compound lipids by hydrolysis so first comes simple lipids or homolipids these are esters of fatty acids with uh, various alcohols fats and oils triglycerides or triacylglycerols these are esters of fatty acids with a trihydroxy alcohol or uh, uh, glycerol a fat is solid at ordinary room temperature whereas an oil is liquid waxes these are esters of fatty acids with high molecular weight monohydroxy alcohols compound lipids or heterolipids these are esters of fatty acids with alcohol and possess additional groups also so first one is phospholipids which is also known as phosphatids these are compounds containing in addition to fatty acids and glycerol a phosphoric acid nitrogen bases and other substituents and second one is glycolipids that is also called as cerebrosides these are the compounds of fatty acids with carbohydrates and contain nitrogen but 
no phosphoric acid the glycolipids also include certain structurally related compounds comprising the groups gangliosides sulfolipids and sulfatids derived lipids these are the substances derived from simple and compound lipids by hydrolysis these include fatty acids alcohols mono and diglycerides steroids terpenes and carotenoids glycerides and cholesterol esters because of their uncharged nature are also called neutral lipids according to kon and stumpf in 1976 they have traditionally classified lipids into six classes acylglycerols waxes phospholipids sphingolipids glycolipids and terpenoid lipids including carotenoids and steroids thank you uh, for the lipid sections uh, for definition uh, introduction and definition rest thing will be continued continued in the next slide